I met them on a Cornwall street corner, where they promised to show me the darker side of the duchy. This was my first terrifying encounter with the Graffiti Grannies, a guerrilla group of knitters who sneak about the Cornish countryside, yarn-bombing their woolly works of art. For the nine knittists involved, anonymity is everything. But after my blindfold was finally removed, I found myself in the heart of their munitions mill, where they manufacture their woolly weapons of mass decoration. Uh, well, the first one was the 69 mice down at uh, Mausel along the harbour um, on April Fool's Day. Uh, that was the beginning. Um, we've more or less tried to do one a month ever since. Um, and, and obviously with Facebook, you know, it's, uh, it's just gone better and better with the fans. And so we just sort of keep it going. Through their savvy use of social networking, the grannies have gone global. Their high online profile attracted the attention of Vogue magazine's knitting publication, who flew them to New York City, where they did a hit. As this granny boasts... That's a fabulous cake stand, um, which was um, textile-based, um, with knitted, crocheted little cakes, loads of fabulous detail with little beads. Um, it was like a typically English um, tea party um, with a little crocheted cup with tea stains, a crocheted um, teaspoon um, and a gorgeous little um, posy of flowers. Um, so bringing a little bit of English tea to the New York, um, to, to New York. After two hours of toasted tea cake trauma, the grannies finally released me from their terrifying clutches on the condition that I came here to Morab Gardens on the 12th of February 2012 and that I dressed appropriately. But nothing could have prepared me for what I witnessed next. The graffiti grannies in the midst of a scream-inducingly saccharine hit, meticulously planned for maximum Valentine's Day impact. Where they'll strike next, no one can predict. But one thing's for sure, they'll certainly have us in stitches. Row Booker, for the world at 11Z's News.